There are quite a few traps. Actually, one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the concept of ball spawn. It's probably actually a little overdue. Because <laughs> uh, I'm surprised at how some people interpret it. Even though uh, they could very well be correct, but... just wanted to at least talk about how I currently interpret it, and I'm sure that'll change as uh, the story reveals itself. Because, of course, the expansion is called Throne of Ball. <laughs> so hopefully a lot of questions will be answered. But not only the concept of ball spawn, but also... I think he's going to just check... Feel the wrongness in such a place. It has seeped into the very rocks themselves. I trust that this current direction <sighs> we're on will not continue. I think I was going to check for traps before anyone comes in. But, yeah, not only the concept of bull spawn, but also what that means as far as multiple children of bull and the idea of whether they're siblings or not, and if they are, of what time, what type, excuse me. But I should probably preface the discussion, again, Lily is not even necessarily convinced that she or anyone else that she knows... All right, the crackle of flames and the smell of smoke assails Yon's senses. A blast of heat from the room causes his skin to redden and blister. Alright, this must be the laboratory concerned with fire, maybe. Or maybe these chambers are between, if this is like a library. So this must be for fire, and here's probably another elemental type. Okay. I don't think we had a clue, though, over here. Maybe it wasn't close enough. Or I probably missed it. The cold air spilling from the room... This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. The cold air spilling from the room into the hall chills Jan's bones, numbs his joints, and stiffens his armor, making movement difficult. So that's obviously the... Something to do with plane of ice or frost. Okay. It's probably safe to bring everyone in at least. The group needs me? Yeah, I was gonna say, Lily's not necessarily even convinced that she or anyone else she knows is necessarily a child of ball. I think uh, the only claims to that have been from men of of course who she doesn't even You can trust. <laughs> I'm not sure why Mads keeps talking. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Meaning uh, Saravok and Arenicus. In fact, uh, she probably thinks they're delusional. And there's been no spectacular evidence that uh, she has any ball powers or that anyone else does. Uh, that's especially true, I think, when you consider that she's a mage and not only that, but a wild mage at that. Of course, she had those special abilities granted by the bowl essence, but um, that was certainly nothing spectacular. And um, even the ability to change into the avatar of bowl, the slayer, is not unlike shape changing, just possibly corrupted by her being a wild mage. I think maybe if, uh, for example, Imwin could change into the Slayer, <laughs> that might be more of a case to convince her. But of course, it's only been her. Alright. So yeah, she's still not even convinced that uh, she's necessarily a child of Ball. Alright, picking up quite a few things. That was all of that. Alright. Probably pick up uh, some of that in a little bit then. Because there's the concept of, well, m mortal children 
born of blood versus divine or semi-divine children whose parentage includes uh, a god. I think there's a distinction to be made. All right, bolts and arrows, which I think will be probably just stowing away. Our wand of spell striking. Certainly sounds useful. Breach and pierce magic. Wonder how many charges that is. Yes. Five. Okay. Should probably uh let maybe let everyone utilize that. Arrows of Dispelling, which I think we already have some. It's always good though. Oops. 40 fire arrows. Wouldn't be surprised if we see fire trolls. <laughs> Being that they're giving us fire arrows. And uh, so these are unique. And this. A horn. Despite a strong dreamer of magic, this ornate animal horn has no apparent use. <laughs> All right. I think we'll hold on to it regardless. Might be related to the scepters. A handwritten note. Here, okay, we're getting clues. Lum. With, I think we guessed right. The lowercase t was for the. We were guessing mage. Lum the mage. The beautiful people are short, red, and green. Again, it sounds like more summoning procedures. Maybe that's referring to uh, nymphs. Short, red, and green to get a nymph. We have all these things. Still haven't found a, necessarily a device that we can manipulate. All right, ice library note which is to the south. Oh, look at this. Presumably talking about the chromatic demon that's been caged. When the demon assumes the shape of a winged red-bodied beast, it becomes vulnerable to powerful winter magics. The Flame Mage. The fire elementals are the key. Dispatch them and the giant becomes vulnerable. I will lure each of the four elementals into my ice lab and destroy them. In my frozen realm. Okay. I think we're going to look at want to look at the libraries for in each of the four libraries then. It's probably a, a particular order that would be <laughs> advantageous to do this in. Sounds like we're going to need the, what do they call it? Ice lab to deal with the denizens of the fire lab. Okay. And again, Elminster's Ecology's Appendix 3A, which I've already read. Okay. Boy, I hope we don't see a magic golem. I can sell this one. All right. Sire? Alright, everyone's uh, covered. Something amiss. Alright, so I think Jan's gonna peek into these other libraries, I guess. Jan Jansen at your service. I 
we're expecting. <laughs> They'll be occupied. Hopefully not with more incorporal undead. How badly is he uh, doing? It's all right. <laughs> Whoops, don't want to do that. Now. Oh boy. Fire giant. Of course, we've never seen one of these before. Look at that. Humongous. Luckily, he probably can't see Jan. Of course, there's more than one. Thinking again, though, with that note, as uh, this chromatic demon changes forms, if this was also the clue. Red-bodied beast. I'll have to see the other notes, I think. All right. So I guess we want... Uh, I think we have... Well, ice arrows. Might as well utilize those. Can't type in 40, huh? Okay. What is it? We don't have Ice Storm or anything like that. 